today's lunch menu is chicky strips and peppy ripper nom noms. Kindness is an important part of our everyday lives, but many times we'll pass it by as a given. Today I'll be interviewing students and teachers about what kindness means to them and something kind somebody else has done for them in order to emphasize the importance of kindness every day. What is kindness to you? Kindness is the, uh, being nice to someone even if they are nice to you. What is something kind somebody else has done for you? Well, back in third grade, I tripped and spilled my mashed potatoes all over my shirt and this guy from sixth grade, he came over and wiped off my shirt for me and told me to go to the office. Well, I mean, Is yeah. Helping a friend out or giving something, giving something that you don't want, you don't really want back and letting him keep it. That's kind of being kind. Um, what is something kind you've done for someone else recently? Um help a friend get through troubled times. What is something kind someone else has done for you? Um, um, alarms. I've done a lot, I, like, I've, I've helped myself, like, do alarms, because timing is not my perfection. I feel that. So, yeah. What is kindness to you? Kindness. Kindness um, to me means doing something for others without them expecting it and putting a smile on their face. What is something kind somebody else has done for you? This week um, I, I was teaching in another classroom room and we were doing science fiction stories, comparing two different stories. I had great conversation in the class, uh, everyone participated and it was really lots of fun. So at the end of the day, uh, when no one else was in the classroom, a uh, student came in and said, Mrs. Winnick, I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed that lesson. Uh, I, I love science fiction, and it, it was just different perspectives, and I really felt that was, that was a really good lesson. So thank you for teaching it. And that made me smile. Wow, okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> After interviewing students and teachers about what kindness means to them and kind acts that have been done for them, I hope I put an emphasis on the importance of kindness and how often it happens every day. Wrestling season is starting and it's going to start as soon as winter break is over, which is on January 4th. All 6th, 7th, and 8th grade boys and girls can try out. For more information, talk to Coach Weimer. Yeah. Girls basketball, it will start on January 4th and there will be a meeting on December 15th in room 205. Talk to Mr. Orich if you have any questions. Also, get your questionnaire and have the money if you're gonna play. Here's a segment about what would you get your best friend for Christmas. What would you get your friend for Christmas? Um. Um, probably money, a lot of money, or um, a whoopee cushion, but I'd just use it on him, or I could give it to him. Okay. That doesn't, okay. Yeah. What would you get your best friend for Christmas? Um, a, I don't know, a game? I know you don't have any friends, but if you did, what would you get them for Christmas? I don't know, probably some socks. Some socks, okay, yeah. Socks. What would you get your friend for Christmas? Oh, God. Um, probably some uh, Hot Wheels. Some Hot Wheels cards? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, because they always they can play with them, like, in their room and stuff. Yeah, or, like, Pokemon and, cards. Oh, yeah, those ones, too. Yeah. Those ones are great. What would you get your best friend for Christmas? Like, AirPods or something, probably. What would you get your friend for Christmas? Um, socks. Okay. What would you get your best friend for Christmas? I don't have friends. Spirit Week is next week. Our first days are Monday, it's Pajama Day. Tuesday, Hawaiian Day. Wednesday is Christmas Character Day. <laughs> Whatever that means. Thursday, Squad Day. And Friday is Ugly Sweater, sweater Day. Today we will be talking about teachers' teaching career. How many years have you been teaching for? 
started in 97 so 24. How many years have you taught at Jennifer? Uh, technically three. How many schools have you taught at? Luckinock, that was one. Fairbanks, two. Jennifer, three. And you can't count subbing because subbing, you know, you teach it. Now. So technically only three. How many years have you been teaching? Brock, this is my 29th year. So I've been teaching 28 years. How many years have you taught at Jennifer? All of them, all 28. How many years have you been teaching? Uh, 26. 25 of which have been in this very same classroom the whole time. How many years have you been teaching? Um, I started teaching in 1989, so 31-ish years ago is when I started teaching. How many years have you taught at Jennifer? I have taught at Jennifer all but seven. Seven years I taught up at Sacagawea. And then I came back because I got my census back about me. Now I came home. How many years have you been teaching? I've been teaching for 23 years here at Jennifer. I subbed for a year before that at all the schools, but I've been here at Jennifer for 23 years. How many years have you been teaching? Um, this is year number 18 for me here at Jennifer. Have they all been here at Jennifer? Oh, I taught at high school for a little bit, but yeah, full-time wise, yeah, here at Jennifer for 18. Wow, I'm old. How many years have you been teaching? This is my 16th year. How many years have you been teaching here at Jennifer? I am going on my 13th year of teaching. How many schools have you taught at? I've taught at two different schools. The first one was Jump to Guard Middle School, JMS, and now I'm at Jennifer Middle School, JMS. How many years have you been teaching? A long time, 31 years in the school district. I taught one year of elementary PE at Orchards, Camelot, and Whitman. So I've been here 30 wonderful years with you wonderful children. Thank you.